Hey, Losis here. My name is Moonsaw. We just woke up from a nice little, uh, nice little nap in this beautiful inn with these, with these dust, dust particles. They're everywhere. It's so beautiful. They're, um, well, here we are. Me and Bilkis. Well, now that we're uh, done with that nap. Can I steal it? Can I? 56? 50, yeah, no. Padrick got himself another customer, eh? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. No. The others have probably prepared Codlack's funeral by now. Ah, good thing, good thing. Come up to the sky floor to pay your respects. Yes, I will. Damn it. Game's kind of oh, you know, you know, ten o'clock last funeral. I will. Why are you running this way? Aren't you supposed to be somewhere? It's where you are. The funeral of Codlack Grandin. This isn't a very big Skyrim moment, but it was pretty cool. I'll do it. Before the ancient flame, we, we grieve. grieve. At this loss, we weep. For the fallen, we, we shout. shout. And for ourselves, we take, we take our leave. Members of the circle, let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Do you have the fragments of Uthrad still? I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. I return them with honor. Don't get too flowery. Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. I guess I have to. I appreciate it. Hmm. Okay, see ya. To the place of young woes, Kodlak's chamber of grief making. As I said, the reason uh, this funeral isn't a very big thing is because he wasn't a major character, and I don't think anyone got overly attached to Kodlak White Man. Not to insult his character or anything, and I probably did get his name wrong, wrong actually. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, one second, let me just adjust that a bit more. Keep it a bit tighter to the character. Uh, let's just... Bum bum, oh yeah, I don't even like that vision, do I? Yeah! Badass Moonsoul. Hmm. In my dreams, I see the line of heartbreakers start to start with Yuskamore. Or, in my dream, I see the line of heartbreakers start with Yuskamore. Each of them ascend to Sovngarde until we come to Turfing. Who first turned us to the way of the beast? He tries to enter Salmonguard, but before he can even approach Sun, 
He is set upon by a great wolf who pulls him into the hunting grounds where Hercene laughs with welcome arms. Tyrfing seems regretful, but also eager to join Hercene after a lifetime of service as a beast. Then I see every next Harbringer turn away from Selvengard and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord until it comes to me. And I see great soon on the misty horizon beckoning me. It appears I have a choice. And then at my side, a stranger I had not seen before. As I look into his eyes, we turn to see the same wolf who dragged away Turfing. And he and I draw weapons together. I realize this is only a dream, but a strong enough dream to inspire a man like me to t take to writing. So it must be of some importance. I've spoken of my thoughts to the circle, withholding the part of the stranger, lest skewer or worry, I will no longer seek his counsel. And I was not surprised to see them torn by it. Skewer and Ale are, in, are strong in the ways of the beast, and even seem to suggest that the hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife, if it were truly a choice. Vilkis seemed most troubled. The boy is fierce as a saber cat in battle but his heart's fire burns too brightly at times. He felt deceived, and I don't blame him. Farkas didn't know what to think, but I believe he will come around with me and his brother eventually. He usually does. I don't know what to do about Skior and Ayala. I know they respect the companions and me, but they take to the blood more deeply than the rest of us. Fortune smiles upon us yesterday. Vilkas was telling me how difficult it had been for him to give up his transformations until we can pursue a true cure. The twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood. For me, it's provided a clear ahead, but Vilkas seems to be suffering a bit for it. Farkas seems completely untroubled. That boy continues to amaze me with his fortitude. While Vilkas was confiding through the shadows of Rivaskar, I saw a newcomer approach who wished to join our numbers. It was a stranger from my dream, the one who would stand with me against the beast. Lucas began speaking obliquely, not wishing to air our problems in front of our guest, and I had to be doubtfully cautious and to not to reveal anything of our secrets to the newcomer, while also not revealing the detail of my dream to Vilkas. I don't know how the politicians deal with these sorts of machinations daily. In any case, I've sent Vilkis to test the newcomer. We'll see if he is truly the great warrior I dreamt of. This newcomer, it seems, is made of decent stock. He calls himself Moonsaw, and has already impressed some of the circle with his metal. I still keep my own counsel on his place in my dream. For now, let us see what kind of destiny he is carving before hitching to him. In the meanwhile, I look for ways of cleansing my blood. The writings and legends on the subject are sparse and contradictory. I don't wish to engage in any wizardry on this matter, but I fear that may they may be the only ones who best know how to navigate these worlds of knowledge. It's apparent to me now that Turfing's choice to turn us was indeed a mistake. Magics and their ilk are not in keeping with the spirits of the companions. We face our problems directly without the needs of such trickery. I can only hope to guide us back to the true path of Yinsgrimoire before the rot takes me. Moonsoul continues to impress. I don't know yet where he will stand on the question of blood, but the question has not been presented yet. He does know that we carry the beast blood and appears curious about it. Soon enough I can explain our troubles and hopefully see what roles he'd play. I'm amazed that Iala thinks she can keep a secret among this drunken rabble. Especially with the loss of Skewer, my heart aches. Emotions are fraying, and the walls of discretion are the first to fall. Apparently, she and Moonsoul are waging their own separate war against the Silver Hand in retaliation of Skewer's death. Their hearts are noble, but the course of vengeance is running hot, and I fear the counterstroke that may come if they do not rein in their fury. Moonsoul shows valor, though, even in this more underhanded time. We have not had the cause to speak much, and that is something I deeply regret. I have a high hopes for his destiny, as I realize that his appearance in my dream may indeed mark him as the harbinger to succeed me. I have received few dreams over the course of my life, but when they come, I have learned to trust them. 
I have also learned to trust the instincts of my heart, which tells me that Moonsoul can carry the Companion's legacy as truly as any resident residing in Yorvaskar, especially with the loss of Skewer. Ella is too solitary, Vilkas too fury, and Farkas too kind-hearted. Only Moonsoul stands as a true warrior who can keep a still mind amongst these burning hearts. I will not speak to him of any of this, though. It is too much of a burden for another with. My hope is that he and I can keep counsel over the coming years, that I can impart the wisdom of the Harbringers. All things in time, firstly, I will seek his assistance in the matter of the Witches of Glamoral. It would appear that our path to the cure is not without some poetic justice for the tricksters who first cursed us. The end. So anyway, I just wanted to read that because it was pretty cool. You know, first time I read it, it was uh, generically cool. <sighs> yeah. I've been thinking of the warriors of the Alaska I was the newest companion okay. until you came along. I guess that's okay. Yeah, it was like really cool to read. Ropes. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to this way, I guess. Why are you over here? Weirdo. You're back. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. They are pretty chill Underforgelings. didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Lucas. That's fine for you. But he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him? Godlak did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. That's not what this is about. We should be honoring Kodlak, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Kodlak used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without being trapped, and it's in pieces like it has been for a thousand years. The dragons were just stories, and the elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is for weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken and repaired. Is that? Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield brother here. The flames of Kiro can be forged to shatter. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. Thank you. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Iskramor for Kodlak. Got it. Onward. Well, this should be a nice fun time. Huh. Yeah. Honestly, I do look forward because this is the this will mean I've finished a whole quest line with my association. And what is this? Like part thirteen? Some such. Okay. Time to begin this slow journey. This is a journey that takes more than muscle. Takes more than a man. Takes the courage to continue. Even without the courage to continue. Oh look an elk. Hello elk. I love you. You're so pretty. Aw. Look at those things. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Look at them. Mm. Love you elky. 
Yes, that was necessary. God, you guys are so weird. Don't you know it was the most necessary thing ever? Horsey! Horsey! No! Who killed the horse? Killed the horse, you son of guns! This is an interesting story, and I will get to it at some point, though. Just give it a few minutes. Uh, or years, or hours, I guess. Um, okay, looks like the side of the mountain. Come on. Ah. It's a bit hard to travel down the sides of some mountains, but this one should be fine. Dun 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 dun! Bum. Oh god, shit! Oh, f ah! Oh, Shiagra. Down. Get down. This guy was like a freaking action movie. That cliff. Damn it. Ah. Sort of connects to that icebergy bit. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Ah. Damn it. Ah. Well, that was worth a try. Sorry for making you watch that, but we're gonna have to redo it. Okay, well this shouldn't be so bad this time. Hopefully, let's see if we can't put it. No, we cannot put not a save right around there. It's fine. It's absolutely. Oh, I love the watery bit, the cliff. I I really like just climbing down those though. I used to do it a lot with my uh, other character, you know, and it's really actually quite fun to jump around the glaciers when you have uh, a spell on that lets you, the gates fall ja damage, if you will. Okay. So I should be able to slide down here rightly. Come on. Good. This pit. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Just nice slide down here. Under here. Nice. Okay. If I jump over there, it should give me a nice slide down to this cliffy bit. Okay. Oh shit. That's kind of steep. It's not bad. I prefer to go to this side though. Sure. Okay, this is a nice little cliff. Okay. Not too far down from here. Um, let's see here. Let's go on that one. Let's see if we. Yes. Good. That's right, dogs. Got the upper hand in this situation. Hmm. Can I auto save? Yet? It's supposed to be every five minutes you open the window. So. I'm not sure when that is exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run for it. Shit. Shit! Um, so, Chugger. Come on, get up here. Get up here. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Come on. Come on. Ah, we can do it. Make it. No. God damn it. Uh, shit. Hmm. I could probably slip through there. Come on. Yeah. Nice. 
Hey, the frozen woolly mammoth. Let's go check it out. That was a pretty nice escape. Okay, let's go ahead and move through here. Yeah, it doesn't look like they'll be able to get me. AI pathing is probably unjust to their cause. Let's see if I can't get a nice overview. Maybe see where I'm supposed to be going. It's too much snow But it does look like I'm supposed to be heading this way Let's just slide through here I would like to go on a little bit more glaciery bits They're kind of fun to run along But I guess I gotta deal with it. Oh, sugar Sneak around this bit Oh, that's a wolf. Oh no, no oh, I mean a fox. Yeah, they just run away. I I don't kill animals in games. Okay, don't judge. Hmm. Okay. Now can I make it? Don't want to risk it, but down there are wolves. And over the and approaching. Seriously? Oh, she agrees, seriously. Oh. Um. Just. The, um. What about. Uh. Aha! Here, we slipped on that one. Come on! No fall! Yeah. Damn. Made it. Come on, we can make it through the path. Yeah, glaciers tend to not have stuff on the side you can just slide right down into. They made them nice, like, adjustments from the, uh, mountains. I like how they did that. I like how they did everything in this game. The water. Natural. The home of the Khajiit. Hmm. Is that it? If I remember rightly, it is actually. Hmm. What beautiful underwater scenery. Wish they had more, more like tunnels. Underwater tunnels. Ah, over there. Perfect. Aha! Uh -huh. I have found it! it is Grimorian Tomb of Doom. Tomb to the doom to the loom to the gloom. Oh. 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 No. Uh. 